for this question, we have a reaction that we've looked at se uh, several times before. It says, consider the following reaction at 25 degrees C. If the pressure of H2 is one atmosphere and the pressure of N2 is two atmospheres and the pressure of ammonia is 10 atmospheres, is the reaction spontaneous in the forward direction? So if you haven't already watched the previous question, that would be a good idea. So the non-standard condition delta G is delta G naught um, plus RT ln Q, where Q is current reaction conditions, just like K, um, which is um, going to be equilibrium conditions. This is going to be under current reaction conditions. And if you remember from the previous questions, we've actually ca calculated the delta G naught of this exact reaction before, but you could just do that as products minus reactants. Note that the delta G of the reactants in this case, because they're both elements, are zero. So you just take two times the delta G of the products, and the delta G naught of this reaction um, is just going to be two times that, which is minus 32.8 kilojoules as it calculated in a previous question. So now we can plug in this standard state delta G, the RT, and the LNQ. But we have to find Q. Well, Q is going to be products over reactants. So it's going to be the pressure of NH3 squared, because there's two of them, okay, divided by the pressure of hydrogen cubed, because there's three of them, times the pressure of nitrogen, and that one didn't need to be in parentheses because it's just to the first power because there's only one of them. So Q, in this case, is the pressure of ammonia, which is 10 squared, divided by the pressure of hydrogen, which is 1 cubed. I should probably write it as 1.00 cubed. All right, times the pressure of nitrogen, which is two, and that's going to be to the first power, so just two. So you're going to get 100, one cubed is one, divided by two, 100 divided by two is 50. So Q is 50. Now we can plug in here, delta G equals delta G naught, products minus reactants, I'm not doing that here because we um, calculated that in a previous question. Um, I have a right over here. All right. It, this is going to be minus 32.8, not 36.8. So it's minus 32.8 kilojoules, which I should remind you should be in joules. So minus 32.8 kilojoules becomes minus 32,800 joules. R is 8.314 joules per mole K. So this needs to be in joules. So delta G equals minus 32,800 joules um, plus 8.314 joules per K for the value of R. T is the temperature, and the temperature in this case is going to be 25 degrees C, which we have to have in Kelvin, so it's going to be at 273 of that, 298 K. times the ln of 50. All right, when you do this, you find that delta G equals minus 32,800 joules plus 9,720 joules when you multiply these things, three things out. And when you do the math, you find that delta G equals minus 23,100 joules or minus 23.1 kilojoules. So under these conditions, the reaction is going to be spontaneous in the forward direction because the um, value of delta G is negative.